Hey Duke. Wow. Can you can you tell people how I made this? No? Okay. Hello and welcome back to the Wolf of Lego channel. It's been a while. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at my custom Lego Captain Rex from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Uh, so I was initially going to skip past the phase one armor and go straight to phase two because that's my preferred look for the clones and even for Captain Rex, but I was convinced by some people to make him in his phase one armor. This is probably going to be the only uh, phase one custom clone I'll make uh, just because I do prefer the phase two look, but uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, back in 2008, when uh, the Clone Wars started, it was actually when I started making custom minifigures. I made uh, custom clones with Sharpies uh, inspired by MGF Customs, and uh, I never posted those online, but that's where I started getting into this hobby. And uh, I haven't made a custom clone in a very long time, so it's interesting to see how I've uh, improved over the years, and especially taking my skills and applying that to a clone trooper. Uh, this, was a, this was a lot of fun to make, and I'm really happy with how this figure turned out. So uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, uh, let's get into a close-up 360 and I can show you what I did to make this guy. All right, so uh, Captain Rex is my favorite uh, clone trooper in Star Wars. So it's kind of fitting for my first custom clone in a while to be a Captain Rex. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, there's a lot of sculpting on this figure. Uh, most custom clones are just kind of flat to the body of a minifigure. There isn't any raised bits uh, like armor or anything like that. And I just... Ever since I made my Death Trooper for Rogue One, I've kind of got myself into a bit of a scenario where if I make an armored character, uh, I feel obligated to sculpt armor onto the figure. And I love clone troopers. They're like my favorite part of Star Wars, one of my favorite parts of Star Wars. And it just didn't feel right not to at least attempt it. I know some people don't even want to attempt it or they're just used to that flat look. But I think I nailed it. I'm, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I, I did... I made it as thin as possible, like I've done with the Death Trooper and Captain Phasma, and I really, really like how this figure turned out. So uh, we'll go into his accessories first. So for Captain Rex's accessories here, we have his pair of DC-17 blaster pistols that he uses throughout the series, uh, and these are just modified Clone Army Custom DC-17 blaster pistols. Uh, if you guys have ever used those before on some figures, you know what they look like. I'll ha I have one right here to show you what I did. So pretty much the railing that is alongside the pistol, I just made a lot thicker and more accurate to the show. Uh, I shortened those three little bars that are like above the hand uh, to be more accurate. I made uh, the barrel a lot bigger and more accurate. As you can see, I, just looking at him, I, this one just looks better to me. And I added the the uh, the sight railing on top. I believe that's what it's for. And then I added some trigger guards. Uh, I shortened the handles so they're not as long as this. And uh, yeah, I think they work really well. And I painted some gray on the tip of the barrels to represent, you know, uh, the actual barrels. And I'm uh, just really, really happy with how these turned out. I think they work pretty well. Oh, and I, I did all that using Procreate. I didn't even mention that. So with having the pistols out of the way, we can talk about the helmet. Uh, so this helmet is a modified, once again, Clone Army Customs Phase 1 helmet. Uh, now, initially, I didn't want to use this helmet. Uh, I didn't really like the Clonarmy Customs Phase 1 helmet. I thought it was way too big and way too bulky. And I believe it was uh, Shane or DeLast Prime who uh, convinced me. Oh, I don't know if he convinced me. He suggested to me to maybe use this helmet for this figure. I believe it was him. I, I, I might be mistaken, but uh, I guess, you know. But, um, but when I looked at a normal Lego... Uh, clone trooper helmet you can just see that like this one is just so much more accurate to the style of helmet in the series that it was like no-brainer that i would use this one now i did do a lot of modifying to it and uh, we'll get into that uh and the first thing you can probably notice is i did carve out the visor similar to my boba fett i made a while back so i took an exacto knife and i carved out the entirety of the visor and then uh re-sculpted on the inside and whatnot and painted that up in you know a gloss black and that turned out really nice. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Uh, then on the chin area, I notched out that little area right there. And I also sanded the chin to be more on a sharp angle because the Clone Army Customs one was more rounded. And then you can see I painted on the Jag eyes at the top. I actually got those first try. I was, I was not looking forward to painting these at all, but I painted them both 
first try and they turned out perfect. So I was really uh, relieved that that was so easy to do. Uh, I guess I just don't have enough confidence in myself. Uh, then on the side of the helmet here, as you can see, I made this a lot wider, more accurate to how the helmets appear in the show. I also plugged up where the antenna would plug in on that side. That is also accurate. Same can be said for this side. I did widen this little bar. You know what I'm talking about? If you look here on the normal Lego one, it goes straight down, and that's similar to what uh, Clone Army Customs had. So I just kind of made it a little wider, more accurate to the series. And then the back of the helmet, I actually modified quite a bit, because if you look at the normal Clone Army Customs helmet, uh, it is not accurate to how it appears in the show. So I used Procreate, changed it around, made it more accurate, and I'm really happy with how this helmet turned out. I think it turned out great. Uh, also with the rangefinder, that is also a Clonery Customs rangefinder, and you can see this normal one right here. I sanded it to be a little thinner and uh, just more accurate. So one of the things also about the Clone Army Custom Phase 1 helmet is when you put it onto a Lego figure, it gives it no neck. And I don't really care for that. I want my trooper to have a neck. I don't want him to look like a turtle. So what I had to do was I had to modify a head. This is going to look a little, uh, ch uh, you know, cobbled together, but as you can see, I had to slice off the top of a stud and glue it and sand it so when I put on the helmet, uh, the, just I know it looks messy, but I have the helmet on this head most of the time. So when you put it on the helmet, you still have a neck to your trooper. Uh, because if you don't have that, it goes like it covers up the neck entirely and just doesn't look right. So uh, granted, you can't tell once you have the helmet on, and I do have an unhelmeted head for Rex, but I had to do that so you can actually have a neck. <laughs> So he doesn't look like a turtle. So moving down onto the figure, we can take a look at the torso. So uh, as you can see, I did uh, make the pauldron, his commander pauldron. It does like to uh, ride up a little bit there, but this is made out of Procreate. Uh, I thinned out a piece of Procreate and sculpted it onto the body. And uh, I, I decided to use Procreate instead of fabric or E-tape just because I feel like it would hold the shape more. And I'm glad I did. This thing turned out a lot better than I was expecting. I do think right here on the uh, pec armor there, it could be more over, like it's a little short, but I also do think that's accurate. It just looks a little weird to me. I feel like it should cover up more of that armor there, but uh, it works. Uh, and then you can see, like I said, uh, the pec armor is sticking out there that is sculpted. And uh, same can be said with the belt and the ammo pouches. Uh, the only part I didn't sculpt, or uh, I guess I should say didn't paint, is that abdomen section. That is the actual Lego clone trooper print. Uh, I kind of cheated and <laughs> sculpted onto a clone trooper body. And I was going to paint over that to say, oh, I painted this whole figure. But I was like, you know, fuck that. <laughs> so I just left that there. So sue me. I'm a hack, I guess. Uh, uh, and then also I did paint onto the side of the uh, torso. You can see the belt continuing there. And then on the arms here, we might as well talk about the arm. Uh, I sculpted the shoulder pad and the armor on the hand. And then you can see I painted that and it does go on to the inside a little bit. And then on this arm, uh, it's literally the same, but with the communicator that is made out of electrical tape and a bit of Procreate. So I sculpted the shoulder pad and the, you know, the arm. And then you can see the detail does continue on to the uh, side of the torso here. It does chip a little bit, but these clone troopers are going through hell anyway, so they're going to look dirty. Then on the back of the figure, we do have the rest of the armor sculpted on there. I will remove the pauldron so you can see that in a minute. Uh, then you have the thermal detonator canister there, and then the continuation of the sculpting on the belt. So down by the legs, uh, we do have the waist cape. Uh, that was made out of some Cape Madness fabric. I honestly don't remember which piece I used. I just cut it to size and, you know, stuck it on there. So I'm sorry I don't have uh, the exact one to tell you what it is. But I did sculpt on some holsters. There's a little strip of white electrical tape there. And then the holsters were made out of Procreate, and they're on both sides. And then I also did sculpt the knee pads out of Procreate, and then painted on all the detail there. I also painted on the, uh, the treads on the boots on the inside of the legs as well. You can see that there, looking pretty snazzy. So here's a quick look at Rex without the pauldron and waist cape, so you can see the armor that was kind of hidden underneath. So there on the torso, and uh, then you can see a little bit of uh, detail that was kind of hidden up by the pauldron there. And then on the back, you can see this little uh, back plate I did uh, sculpt on the detail on there as well. And then down on the legs, you can see the knee pads a little better and the uh, legs in general. 
And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how the sculpt turned out. It's very form fitting, you know, nothing too bulky, nice and slim how I like it. All right, so before we wrap up this video, uh, let me show you uh, his unhelmeted head. I almost forgot to even show this. Uh, so I'm, uh, I, I'm okay with how this turned out. I don't think it looks exactly like Rex. I think I could have done a, a little bit of a better job. I think I kind of just rushed this right at the end to finish it, uh, to get done with this figure at the time. But I think this head, for the most part, it works. Uh, so I used a Lego Clone Trooper head as a base, and I erased everything except the eyes, like I usually do. Uh, then I painted on the eyebrows and some of the wrinkles at the top, and some bags under the eyes. You can see uh, he does have his scar under his chin right there, uh, similar to uh, Harrison Ford's scar that he has on his chin. Apparently, uh, Dave Filoni and the crew put that on there uh, to represent, you know, like that Han Solo scar that Harrison has. So I thought that was a cool touch. I, uh, Captain Rex is definitely one of my favorite Star Wars characters alongside Han Solo, so it's kind of cool. They both have a chin scar. And then I painted on the, uh, the beard or the stubble that he has. I painted the neck black. It's a little choppy down there. Probably could touch that up. And then uh, the hair piece here, this is just one of those classic Lego hair pieces. I don't know what they, what you call them. I like to just call them the classic Lego hair piece. And uh, pretty much I sanded this as thin as possible to represent Captain Rex's buzz cut and uh, sculpted certain areas with Procreate, uh, so where the plastic kind of gave way. And uh, I think it works really well. It's really tight to the head, so I'm not going to take it off, nor do I need to, uh, because I have that modified head for the helmet, so I can just swap the heads. And uh, yeah, I really like how this head turned out. I think it works for Captain Rex. That's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see some high-quality images of this guy, alongside uh, my other Clone Wars figures, and some other armored uh, Star Wars characters I've made, definitely go check out my Flickr and Instagram. Links will be in the description down below. I always post uh, pictures of finished figures over there and working progress photos so if you want to see that stuff before you see them on youtube uh definitely go give those a follow like i said they're in the description down below but uh yeah so i'm almost done with another custom uh so there'll probably be a video pretty soon about that figure not going to get into it too much i don't want to spoil what it is and for any of you that are waiting for that uh joke about a certain someone that I usually have in my videos. Um, I'm beating a dead moose at this point. Uh, there's really nothing to work with. The guy's so fucking boring. I have nothing to talk about. So uh, we're just going to move on. We're not even going to we're not even going to bother. Uh, but yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah, that's that that's it. That, I don't know what else to say. Like I could say my cheesy little outro or I could just tell you to fuck off. Um, so how about we go with the second one? Just fuck off. The video's done. Go eat a kumquat. I don't fucking know. Uh, maybe uh, butcher an animal. Uh, be a man. Get your hands dirty. Build some calluses. Back up a trailer. Apparently that makes you a man. I suck at it, so I guess I'm not a man. If you can back up a trailer, uh, I give you props. That, that shit's hard. Um, this is going on way too long. Uh, bye. Bye.